So in talking about the differences between uh, the way to write a theme in variations, we, uh, we talked about those three areas. And in this video, we'll, uh, we'll look at the element that we're using as what I refer to as a stabilized element. So in the Renaissance period, as it became more common to write variations, uh, to make music not as repetitive, there was something that was developed called the obstinate bass, uh, or basso ostinato. And this was a melody that was repeated each time. So the melody would be the stabilized element, and then something else would change, like the execution or the, uh, the, the harmony or something else. Um, so a good example of this would be La Campanella. I'll, I'll play the, uh, the theme and then just a couple parts of a variation so we can kind of get the general idea. Okay, so that's the theme the variations are based on. And here's uh, one of the variations. So in that example, uh, the, the technique changed while the melody was repeated each time. Now, we could also have harmony as the stabilized element, as in the example of Beethoven's Twelfth Sonata. The first movement is a theme in variations. And uh, one thing to keep in mind, I'm going to play the, just the first part of the theme and then the, the corresponding variation, um, each variation that corresponds to that first part of the theme. So I won't play the whole thing, but just so you get an idea of, of the harmony being the element this time. And also keep in mind what's, uh, what's common is to write, if it's in the major mode, is to write one of the variations in the parallel minor. So if it's an A flat, A flat minor is one of the variations. So uh, keep that in mind. So here is here is the theme. That's the first part of the theme. Uh, so here's one of the variations. So the same harmony is used. It's just expressed differently. Here's another one. talking about when it's when it can be in the the parallel minor mode then it re returns back to the, the to the major This is my favorite.
So those those are two examples of using um, melody as the stabilized element versus harmony or vice versa. In fact, we're going to look at La Campanella a little bit in more detail when we talk about the form because also there are ways of, of uh, arranging the different variations and even having more than one theme uh, that we're using. Um, so in in the example of Beethoven we had an A and a B in La Campanella. We could even consider them two different themes. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in the next video talking about form and we'll, uh, we'll also get into the Pasacaglia and the Chacona because those are forms um, using theme and variation concepts. And just a note on that, at one time the Chacona was was usually thought of as the harmonic form where Pasacaglia was the melodic. And now they're kind of interchangeable so there isn't much of a difference really, if any. Um, but we'll, we'll look at both of those in the next, the next two, two videos.